Thank you so much, Amanda. Well, as we near the 20th anniversary of the September 11th attacks, we're looking back at the impact on our community. In the aftermath of 9-11, Arabs, Muslims, and other minority groups found themselves vilified for their race, religion, and culture. 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javed shows us how an interfaith organization in Metro Detroit is bridging the divide by promoting tolerance and embracing diversity. How do we fight Islamophobia? That was the question on every Muslim's mind, as well as every community and race that was standing side by side with Muslims here in Michigan post 9-11. To our friends who are Muslim, they would say when you harm one person, you harm all of humanity. But nonetheless, people turned toward Islam with anger and a vilification. Islamophobia became the word. And so how do, how do we combat that? Steve Spritzer, the president and CEO of Michigan Roundtable, was also one of the many who took it upon themselves to prove that evil has no religion. And it's this mission that gave birth to the Interfaith Leadership Council. We needed to get out and uh, help more people understand the, the, who are Muslims, but also to that extent, who, who's Jewish, who is Sikh. Steve recalls the metro Detroit area to be very segregated 20 years ago, and breaking the barriers was hard. Hence the need to build bridges was desperately needed. And according to Eid Alawan, the interfaith outreach at Islamic Center of America in Dearborn, this was a great challenge. The council did everything possible to make sure people came to know what Muslims are. Given presentations, uh, coming to the mosque, uh, inviting people in to partake in a conversation. Religious Diversity Journeys is one of the many programs launched by the council which Steve says has helped bridge the divide. It's a program that builds on the seventh grade curriculum. They're taking these kids to gurdwaras and temples and masjids so they can come to know and care about the, the other. But the people of the book are considered the Abrahamic traditions. And then there's another verse in the Quran referring to all of the people of other faith traditions. My faith tells me that these are my brothers and sisters. It's been 20 years since the tragic events of 9-11 struck our nation. And a lot has changed since then. Steve says the community of Michigan is stronger than ever. To interrupt um, religious bigotry or to stand up against mistreatment of anybody, um, it is a kernel of a religious teaching to be our brother or sister's keeper. I also asked Steve and Eid, what is the best tool to fight racism, hatred, and bigotry in this day and age? To which both replied, diversity. By simply getting to know someone who is different to you, either in race, religion, or even culture, will bring us closer and reinforce the power of acceptance of being different, but still humans. From Dearborn, Faraz Javid, 7 Action News. It's just the simple understanding that people are just people no matter where we come from, and we all just want peace. Thank you so much, Faraz, for that report.